Hello, everyone, this is the Developing China. Welcome to our channel. In this channel, we can learn about the latest news and information about China. As we all know, China is growing into a strong country. The development of science and technology is inseparable from the promotion of chips, especially in today's global shortage of cores, which pushes the importance of chips to a new level. Among them, low end chips are the present, and high end chips are the future. In order to grasp the pulse of future technological development, the world is also highly competitive in the field of high end chips, and every company wants to occupy a larger share of the international market. However, in this field, China is rarely seen. Why? In fact, it is because China lacks EUV capable of producing high end chips. Even though ASML has repeatedly boycotted China, it has not stopped China's continuous breakthrough in the field of EUV lithography, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made new contributions. So, once the EUV lithography machine is localized, how important is it to China? On the road of developing EUV localization, in addition to core technologies, what difficulties and traps will China face? Good news for China is coming, the Chinese Academy of Sciences promotes localization of EUV. The epidemic situation in Shanghai is gradually improving. However, during the anti-epidemic period in Shanghai, the raging epidemic did not stop the pace of scientific research, nor did it stop the pace of scientific researchers from climbing the peak of science and technology. According to a report by the media on May 6, during the lockdown period, the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences completed three major technological breakthroughs. These three major technological breakthroughs are the research and development of the edging glass for N41 neodymium glass, which is the core optical component of the National Major Special Project. Rapid Growth Technology These three technologies themselves are very professional. I will not explain them here. We only need to know one thing. The first two breakthroughs are strongly related to the core technology of EUV lithography machine. The first item is the optical components and the second item is the reflection exposure system. From this matter, it can be seen that in terms of localization of EUV lithography machines, China has undoubtedly successfully won a few pieces of the puzzle. The realization of localization can be said to be a step further. So, once China successfully completes the big puzzle of EUV lithography machine, how important is it to China? So, what is the significance of China's EUV lithography machine? For the China core, which is in the rising stage, there is only one road to break the ice. China must build an EUV lithography machine on its own. You must know that the EUV lithography machine worth 120 million US dollars is extremely sophisticated. In addition to the three core technologies, it also covers about 100,000 accessories, and its suppliers are all over the world. Not only did ASML hit China, but ASML made it clear that China could not make EUVs when designing drawings for China. Even Chinese experts once believed that China's self-developed EUV equipment did not have much hope. But you must know that cutting-edge equipment is also man-made, not God-made, not to mention, facing the suppression and sanctions of the United States, China has no other way than to break through the monopoly of EUV equipment at all costs. Considering that the research and development cycle of lithography machines is relatively long, and there are many technical barriers. So in my opinion, it is difficult for domestic lithography machine manufacturers to provide support and assistance to SMIC on the equipment. In fact, the backwardness of lithography machine technology is not just a problem encountered by China. Even countries with stronger lithography machine production capacity, such as Japan, South Korea, and the United States, are also in a backward position in the research and development of high-end lithography machines. At present, in the high-end lithography machine market, the Dutch company ASML is the only company in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines. On February 14, the Global Semiconductor Association released a report on semiconductor sales of 2021. From this report, it can be seen that global semiconductor sales reached 555.9 billion US dollars, of which the Chinese consumer market contributed 192.5 billion. Besides, according to the latest statistics of China's national import and export customs this year, the import value and quantity of China's integrated circuits have risen year after year. 
It can be seen from this that China's demand for chips is also very strong. Once the more advanced EUV lithography machine is localized, it will undoubtedly be able to greatly ease the demand for Chinese chips, especially high-end chips. The development and progress are still very helpful. In addition, on January 19 this year, ASML announced its 2021 financial report. According to this financial report, ASML achieved net sales of 18.6 billion euros in 2021, a year-on-year -year increase of 35%, and a net profit of 5.9 billion euros, a year-on-year -year increase of 63.9%. It is not difficult to know from this that the consumer market for lithography machine products is still relatively large. And the huge consumer market may not be able to bring a lot of economic benefits. Therefore, if the EUV lithography machine is truly localized in the future, it may not be able to bring a huge GDP to China and lay a solid economic foundation for China's development and progress. However, EUV lithography is always a high-end technology, and it always belongs to the high-end field. In the development of localization, it may not be smooth sailing. So, according to the current situation, what threats will China face in developing EUV? On April 20 this year, ASML Chief Financial Officer Roger Dason publicly revealed that by 2025, ASML will have the ability to produce 70 EUV lithography machines per year. This means that the production capacity of ASML's lithography machine will be much stronger in the future, which means that in the future, in the field of lithography machines, the competitive pressure brought by ASML will also increase. This cannot be said to be a threat to the development of domestic EUV lithography machines. In addition, China's localization of EUV lithography machines is actually a challenge, and it is impacting the status of the United States in the semiconductor field. After all, once the domestic EUV lithography machines are successfully implemented, then the US technology will have no use. China the rise of the core will be more unstoppable. The United States should not sit back and watch this situation become a reality, or it is likely to take action. Finally, according to news reports, on April 1, Canon of Japan is developing a lithography machine for semiconductor 3D technology, and the exposure area will be four times that of the current EUV. Before, ASML also successfully developed a more advanced EUV lithography machine with a NA value of 0.55. In today's economic globalization, these more advanced products may not necessarily enter the Chinese market, nor may they not prevent the development of China's domestic EUV at home and abroad, which is obviously another threat. In short, the domestic EUV lithography machine has once again achieved a breakthrough, once again breaking through the core key technologies, and the Chinese Academy of Sciences has once again made a great contribution to the Chinese chip industry. Of course, although progress is going well, China cannot be carefree. The current global competition, especially in the semiconductor field, is particularly fierce. I look forward to China's continued efforts in the future to get more and more puzzles in the field of localization of EUV lithography machines. Looking forward to the dazzling brilliance of Made in China in this field. Okay, we just spent another 10 minutes of deep thinking. Do you want to know what changes have taken place in the world in these 10 minutes? Please keep following our channel and like our videos.